extravehicular activities are considered one of the most complex and costly operations undertaken during any spaceflight mission. Astronauts train quite extensively to ensure that these operations proceed nominally, but despite that, they still come across limitations and shortcomings with these modern practices. With the incorporation of supernumerary robotic limbs, we've come up with a novel new approach and solution that can be incorporated into next generation spacesuit technology. And with this, we can enable astronauts to have both a safe and efficient working condition despite the hostile working environment that they are induced upon. For this initial development, we looked at how superlimbs could be applied in a microgravity environment like that of the International Space Station. We found that superlimbs are capable of attenuating the effective inertial mass of the entire astronaut body as well as provide a portable and rigid tether capable of performing static bracing with disturbance rejection. To validate these claims, we first looked at a MATLAB simulation of the workspaces of the superlimbs. By overlapping the workspaces of each superlimb, we can find the working envelope earned for astronauts when they are conducting worksite operations. Alongside this analysis, we conducted two experiments with a physical prototype. The first test was to assess the superlimbs' ability to statically brace the astronaut's body. We applied loads upwards of 20 pounds along a single axis that simulates microgravity conditions at varying virtual stiffnesses programmed into the prototype. The second test assessed the superlimbs' ability to attenuate the effective inertial mass of the astronaut's body. By pushing the prototype along a single axis, we analyzed the amount of power and work required by an astronaut to propel themselves in a microgravity environment both with and without superlimbs.